It is August 7th and I'm in uh, Texas um, at a shipper. Um, I came out here from Fontana, actually it was um, Chirupa Valley. I did deliver my load fine last um, last night, at least track of time, yeah, last night. And, um, and then I just parked in this little tiny town about 13 miles from here. There wasn't any truck stops or anything, so I had to find a safe lot uh, kind of off the road. I uh, had a subway last night and uh, made a movie last night and posted it. It's a long one, 43 minutes on my Facebook. Um, and I'm starting my day. What's going to happen on this load? It's really this type of load. I actually, I, I like, um, I'm starting to feel, I just was in an sneeze. I think I went home for a quick overnight, but I'm starting to feel slightly um, burnt out. I say slightly, I love truck driving, but there's times I just feel, and, it, and it's kind of funny. If, you, if, you, if you've never done this before, you know, I have lots of friends, I'm not lots of friends, I have a few friends on Facebook that are with Knight, like LC and Holly, and I've had, I have, people that um, are truck drivers like my friend Robert so you, you understand but if you've never driven a truck and never done, gone over the road um, you um, may not understand I've been out here 12 years you know over a decade you know most of my life in the last 12 years most of it I don't want to I don't like to exaggerate things I don't know the exact percentage you know I've, I've been I've been on the road you know 89.9 of my life the last um, but then I have to think of sleeping and all that I don't want to get that technical but the truth is I've been tr a truck driver uh, for 12 years between night and the first company I drove for CRST just round numbers I'm probably right about a million miles paid miles okay um, and I it's, it's been my whole life I mean that's I've been and I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that it, it, it's starting to hit me that we're now starting to get, get into me getting into the zone or the the part where a lot of things are happening all at the same time. Okay, that perhaps you may not be aware of that are even I'm even thinking about um, because if you haven't been out here, I'll tell you just little things I thought about. The average person, and there's exceptions. You know, there's for example, there's military families. You know that they're uh, a military wife has a husband that's in the military and maybe he's deployed so he she's kind of and, and, you know and, and maybe not deployed all the time but sometimes her husband maybe or may maybe in the in Navy the aircraft carrier or whatever I have um, um, some Navy friends that I met in Japan through Saudi that are um, um, David and my other friends that are stationed in Japan, they, they work on an aircraft carrier. And so they go deploy, they go all over, they can't even talk, talk, talk to me or talk to Saudi about where they're going. Uh, but they go all over Asia and, and stuff. And, then they, and they, I, I, I might have this wrong, but they go out for long periods of time where they're just working on the aircraft carrier and they're a big, huge, and aircraft carriers hold a lot of people. I don't know, it's thousands. So that they're out, like I go out in the truck, I told them there's some similarities to what you do and I do, believe it or not, even though you're in a big, a huge aircraft carrier out in the ocean and I'm in a, a truck on the land. It's similar, you go out for long periods of time. And then the good news is they come back and they have some long extended time off. That's when I met them. Uh, we, um, I've got pictures um, on Facebook of the time we had. Um, it was, actually, it was actually only one, I think if, if I remember correctly, it was just one evening. And then another time, for example, um, Saudi took me on, on Halloween. We went trick-or-treating on a, on a naval base, you know, where at least people were, Americans stationed in Japan. So my point with all this is there are industries and families and stuff that that don't just don't do the regular thing where they're at home, they go to bed in the same bed every night. Uh, they go to work, you know, and they come home and they have weekends and they have a 40 hour work week. I don't know what the exact percentage of Americans that have a regular life like that, but it's a larger percentage than I think the percentage of people that are over the road, is, is my point. So it's a whole nother lifestyle. So you, you know, I sleep some, every single night I sleep in a, I'm in my truck and I pull my curtains 
in my own little universe, in my own little capsule here, that's why I say I'm like a land astronaut. When I pull the curtains, I'm in my own little world. It's the same every night, but where I'm located and parked, it's in a, normally a different place, okay? Every single night, okay? And the first several years with night, I went on a schedule where I, I had, like for example, a brand new Volvo, and I went home every other weekend. So every other weekend I was home for two days. So it made me feel like at least I have two weekends a month at home. But still I was only home four days out of, you know, 31. Okay. And I've done that for years now. Now I'm leading up to this and I'm already getting a little too long. Sometimes I get in more detail than maybe you're even interested. And that's one of the reasons why I think I'm going to start, uh, a brand new fate I told Mike this morning we'll have a zoom call I'm thinking about starting a brand new Facebook page where on that page that's where I'm talking about truck driving the lifestyle the things that you have to learn and, and and things that if someone interested in truck driving or interested in what I'm doing they can go to that page and I'll talk like this and what's five minutes six minutes ten minutes or whatever because people want to hear that okay I realize my friends, my family, um, you know, that have, I've been posting these long videos since I learned how to do video. And I, I, you know, when I went to Japan, I remember the whole time I was in Japan, all my posts are just Japan, Japan, Japan. And, and some of my friends have said, okay, we got it. You're in Japan. So they, they were, they had to not have to, but all my posts for a whole month were nothing but Japan, pictures of Japan, videos of Japan, 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 Japan. And so it can get a little, um, I don't know, be like, I got it, okay, well, I'm a truck driver and I go to Japan. So what I wanna do is kind of like uh, pull away from my personal page and create something new where I don't feel bad or guilty or funny about talking about all this when maybe someone's not even interested, you know what I mean? So that's one of the things I'm talking to Mike about creating. While I'm driving, um, and I can't even see, this is, I think it's been seven minutes long. While I'm driving, I, I am thinking about this stuff that I'm creating. And that's one thing I want to mention. As a, as a, a, a grasshopper, I kid around, I'm a grasshopper, I'm a beginner. I've only been doing this since May. As a beginner content creator who's really just starting out, my mind is going, you know, how can I make this better? How can I set this up? How can I, you know, how? So I'm, this is all a work in progress, everything, okay? And I'm, other than Mike's help, and I appreciate his help, I'm doing everything myself, okay? And, you know, there's not any, I don't have a, you know, like, like, like a TV series, for example, on a professional level, you know, you have camera people, you have lighting people, you have a director, you have, you know, people, all, you have a whole huge team of people that support you, you have people, you know, you're, and if you're the main talent or actor on the set, you know, they work long hours and it's grueling. I think when, when people do a, 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 a television series, if I'm not mistaken, they'll power out and work really, really hard for X, Y, Z, and they'll do a whole season and it's all done for the year and then they can take time off. It's, it's, I guess it's pretty hard work. Um, but, um, so I'm, I'm having to kind of think about this myself and then I run the ideas by Mike. And he, for those of you who don't know Mike, he's, he's behind this. I keep, you know, even some of my videos say, Mike, have you, are you here? Mike, what do you think of this? You know, and then if you want, if you're interested in who Mike is and you, and you kind of curious about who is Mike, are you talking about, the, you have an invisible friend or something, you know, uh, are you talking, you, is there like a Mike, uh, he's like a guardian angel. Hi Mike, how are you doing? Are you there? I mean, this is what I'm thinking, Mike. You know, no, no, he's a real dude. But if you want to see the real Mike, you can go to the driving to Tokyo and we have a, a weekly Zoom, um, recap. In fact, we have one coming up sometime today, I think, where we actually talk. You'll actually see Mike and you'll see me actually talking, you know. Um, so you see that there really is a mic and I'm not being too, too delusional, thinking I have a guardian angel or an avatar out there. Hey, Mike, I'm thinking about doing this. Okay, just to know you, I'm not going crazy. Okay. Although I said on the video, that one video, 
I'm a functional crazy person, you know. I, I, I like having fun and making fun of myself. And I even thought about, no, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. Maybe people will take that literally like I am really crazy. You know? I don't know if I would even listen to him. Maybe he's out there too much, you know, too far out there. Like, I don't even know how far out he is, but he said he actually, if he openly admits that he's a functional crazy person, and he admits that about, I mean, how crazy is this guy? You know, I, maybe I shouldn't even say stuff like that. You know, those are the kind of things I, I think, well, maybe I should be completely serious, you know. Maybe I shouldn't call potential drivers grasshopper. Maybe that's kind of putting them down. You know, so, yeah, you know, that's where my mind goes. But at the same time, I want to be fun and authentic because I, that's where my mind operates, you know. I mean, I think we're at the 10 minute mark. I'm going to close this down. So this is, again, Doug from somewhere in Texas. I know where I am, but, you know, it could be somewhere. If I say the town, you probably don't even know where it is. It's kind of southwest of Amarillo, Texas. And enough, today I'm going to do about 500 miles. Probably get into Phoenix tomorrow. And then Mike will be back in tomorrow. He says he's going to try to send me east somewhere versus back into California. Okay. So, 10 minute video. Uh, the next video, I'm going to do some shorter ones. I'm experimenting, you know. Like, I want to prove to all of you that I can actually do a one minute video, two minute video, a check in video, you know. But I will still be doing the long videos. And the bottom line is I'm doing the long videos because I enjoy doing them in the evening. I don't watch TV. I sit down at, when I have my 10 hour break before I rest and go to bed. So I'm watching TV. I make my own video that might be 30, 40 minutes long. It's like sitting down and watching my own you know, mini series, except um, it's, it, it, I'm doing it, I'm creating it. I'm not watching someone else's production, you know what I mean? So I find, I find, that, I find that enjoyable. And then plus I'm getting better the more I do it. And I mentioned this, I'm going to say this, then I will go. The two things I'm, I'm, I'm using is I have to do things bad to get good, okay? And repetition is the mother of skill. So I figure if I do a longer video every night, I'm going to get better faster, okay? If I do a long video once every two weeks, I'm going to get better slower okay if I do a uh, long video short videos 10 minute videos if I'm just doing videos all the time if I'm just sitting around doing videos constantly 24 hours a day as much as I can I'm gonna get better faster because I'm going from bad to a little better you know a little better a little better a little better a little better, a little better, a little better. and there's little micro actions and then maybe in six months I'll be actually better well Christine can watch more than two seconds she'll actually tell me I watched her new stuff and man I went from watching it two seconds to I can watch a whole minute of you. And you really will come a long way the last six months. You know, that's that's my that's my uh, defining principle goal, you know. Is that Christine will watch more than two seconds of my video. But I'm just kinda of getting ready for that. You know, I'm getting ready for Christine to actually watch some of my stuff and she'll go, hmm, oh well you did make it into a cartoon, that's good. You know, there's not you know, I just like that. That's kind of cool. You know, so that's what I'm striving for. And, and also for you. Okay. So I'm going to take off. They still haven't started loading my truck. Because when you when they start loading your, your trailer, you, you hear it. And then, it's, and then the truck shakes. You go, and you, plus you have a red light. That's another whole thing. We'll get into that another time. Shipping stuff for all you grasshoppers. You know, what do you do at the shipper? You know, what kinds of shippers are there? I'm a, a shipper that has pet food. Okay. People, I was asking, what do you haul? Well, I'm hauling, hauling pet food right now. That's why I am. And last time I was hauling Walmart stuff. I still not don't know why Walmart has to ship a bunch of their stuff from from Drupal Valley in um, California all the way out to Texas and drop it off here and then go to the stores. It seemed like there's, I don't know. I don't understand the whole logistics chain, to tell you the truth. I just drive the stuff. But anyway, I'm going to take off. See you all later. Have a wonderful day.